um, hello everyone, this is Serena and uh, I'm a program manager. I welcome you on behalf of Platinum Global Solutions to a series of online interview sessions. Uh, if I, we are glad to have you as a keynote speaker at our video and share service content. So thank you so much for taking out time from your busy schedule. And so uh, before we kick start our interview session, Ivan, I would uh, I would like to have a brief introduction about you, your professional career, and your area of expertise in which you are working. So over to you. Um, so thank you, first of all, for inviting me. It's my pleasure to uh, be able to contribute. Uh, to this exchange of knowledge, uh, exchange of experience with uh, many other people uh, within the world. Um, when it comes to my professional experience, uh, well, I was uh, born and raised in Portugal. I currently live in Belgium, and I've been working for Volvo uh, for the last 20 years, uh, always very active uh, in connection, let's say, to process management and to data management. Those have been the areas uh, where I've built my expertise, although ac academically speaking, that is not my my, my background, but still it is an area of interest and I've been able to grow within this area. And hopefully I can share uh, or contribute, uh, let's say, to my own learning, but to the learning of others as well. Okay, so uh, if I, let's move on to the first question. So tell me, what do you think about the ongoing global dynamic situation and what's your favorite impact on the worldwide? Uh, sorry, Sarina, I hear you very bad. It's cutting a lot. The sound okay. is not very good. You cannot hear me? I hear you, but it's cutting a lot. It's a lot of uh, interference. Hi, Ivan. Can you hear me now? Now it's much, much better. <laughs> okay. Great. So thank you so much. So, um, Ivan, I was just asking, so what do you think about the ongoing global pandemic situation and what's your take on its impact on businesses worldwide? Well, the impact has been quite severe. I mean, most of the businesses have been impacted in a negative way. Um, I feel that to a certain extent, uh, we within the Volvo Group have been lucky because uh, there has been, I wouldn't call it a positive impact uh, because we cannot take anything positive from the situation that we're living, but the situation has not been as severe as for other companies uh, as logistics had to continue in order to support the world in, in a nutshell, because people still needed their products. I mean, we had to keep some type of normality. So we tried to do that uh, via by the products that we're making available to our customers, which are trucks. So making sure that the supply chain could continue and that uh, people, even still confined, would have the opportunity then to uh, uh, to receive the products that maybe could contribute to a, an easier, uh, yeah, new style of life, because there is a new normal that we're talking about. So we are still adjusting to this normal. And I do believe that uh, this has changed us uh, forever. So we have to adjust and we have to continue um, to work together so that uh, the next uh, few years uh, might be better than the current ones. Yeah, great. So, um, Ivan, according to your experience, please uh, briefly explain the current situation of uh, BPO industry and what's your forecast related to this? I think within uh, this area, it goes in waves. Uh, there, there's, uh, on occasion, there is a significant uh, engagement in this uh, within this area for certain companies. Uh, then it kind of fades away because uh, all in all, I think when we talk about processes and process management, it has to be seamless. It has to be there because we have to work in a structured and efficient way. Um, but at the same time, people get fed up when you keep on repeating the word uh, process and, and documentation. And when you, you're really showing them and putting it in front of them, they, they, they get to a point where, yeah, they don't see the contribution. 
But now if you show to them that it's part of their daily livelihood, if we're really focused on exchanging best practices and making their life easier, and also that we are hearing what they're saying, then it becomes a lot easier. So we need to continue to invest because, again, connecting maybe to the pandemic situation, it is about becoming more efficient. It is about finding new ways of working, and that can only be done through continuous improvement. Okay, good, wonderful. So now, uh, Ivan, as a company, uh, what changes you have introduced in the overall operations and business strategies in these challenging times? And more importantly, how these changes are going to impact the future landscape of your company? Well, I think most companies, uh, the biggest changes they have been uh, doing has to do with uh, homeworking. Uh, this new reality forces us to rethink how to use our workforce, how to respect people as well, because that is everything that it is about, is about how we respect each other. Um, so with this new dynamics, I think uh, this is the way to go. Uh, the, the new workforce, if you think about the younger people, people who are, let's say, growing up through this pandemic, their, their reality is completely shifted, let's say, from my generation or even from prior generations or we had a, a different way, a more classical way, if we can still call it like that way of working, with going to the office, working from nine to five and being very structured and just fulfilling uh, what you had to do without much space for creativity. Nowadays, it's a different mindset. And I think this situation with, with COVID and, and the pandemic has allowed companies to reflect upon it and to see that they have to change quicker. They have to adjust to the customers of the future, but also to the employees of the future, because the employees in themselves are customers. They're customers of the management team, they're customers of the strategy. They want to be part of that journey. So it's more of inclusiveness and making sure that we are ready to see and to use the creativity of our workforce. Okay, great. So, um, Ivan, lastly, what are you expecting from this e-conference and what valuable insights are our, our audience can expect from your presentation? Well, like I said in the beginning, uh, for my idea is to share a little bit of my experience, my knowledge, but at the same time, what I expect for myself is to be able to learn. I think the life in itself is a constant learning experience, uh, a learning event. And uh, the, the exchange with other people to get to know them, to analyze it from a social, cultural uh, perspective, from a professional perspective. I think it's always good to have these exchanges, especially nowadays when we're mostly confined and uh, have a reduced opportunity to network. I think uh, such events are an opportunity to do so. So that's my expectation. Okay, great. So uh, lastly, we would uh, like you to say a few words about PGS. Well, uh, it's the first time that I will be working with you, so uh, I'm I'm eager to uh, to uh, have a good exchange. Uh, so far, it has been a, a good experience, uh, very professional, but very structured, very organized, um, which shows it's, it's an immediate trademark that you can see. So uh, I can tell you more after the, the the conference, but so far, so good. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, Iman, for your time, and it was a pleasure talking you. to you. And we are looking forward to have a great session from you. Okay. Likewise. Thank you so much. So, uh...